welcome back ladies so when you open your bag you should see all the cuts you need to assemble those one tags and one embellishment except the stems i am assuming you already stamped colored and cut everything out What I like to do is put everything together as a puzzle to make sure I have all the pieces I need to assemble my, my project. Okay, so let's start with the tag. Like I said before, I have already stamped, colored and cut everything out. So all I really have to do is just glue everything together. The tag on the left I inked the edges of the paper, but on the right side where I am going to put it together now, I am not going to. This way you can see the difference and then you can make your decision if you want to ink the edges or you don't want to ink the edges. What I'm doing right now, it is I'm going to trim it down just a little bit because it was just too long. Start gluing down the stamp images followed by the banner, the gray banner, and so on. But I suggest you just watch. I just want to mention that you don't have to use this as a tag. You can use this on top of a card as a focal point or an embellishment on your scrapbook pages. Now don't do what I just did in here. You need to glue only half of your heart. I think it's so cute. I didn't use any foam tape this time. I know it is shocking, but um, I just wanted to show you, you don't have to use a uh, foam tape all the time to create something cute. I did on the left tag, you will see in person, then you can make your decision which way you want to do yours.
By the way, those twines are also available at the stamping station. Okay, we're moving along to the next project, the last one, which is the embellishment. And this is exactly the same than the tag. You can use that on top of a card or you can use it on your scrapbook pages. Either way, I think it is, it is cute. If you know me, you know I love stamps. I literally collecting them. What can I say? I have some issue. I still working on it. I think stamps are incredible. You can create so many things with them, especially when you're looking for some kind of embellishment for your scrapbook page and you just can't find it. I always know how to create it because I always have stamps for it. Okay, so you can call me a stamp hoarder. Right now, I'm just trimming it down to fit my needs. And then after, I am going to do the doff cut. If you don't know how to do a doff cut, just watch and see what I'm doing. I'm going to cut one in the middle first, then from one corner to cut to the middle and done and just repeat the same on the other side. This time I am going to put some foam tape on the back to get some dimension. Just the way I like it. When you want to create an embellishment for your scrapbook page, just remember you should always start with a base. In this case, the base is the rectangle and then work yourself up. It does not have to be a rectangle. You can use a square, you can use a um, circle, a scallop, different kind of shapes just remember start with that and build yourself build, not yourself but build build it up it is so easy to change things for instance if i want to change this tag i would definitely go with a circle because of the balloon you can create a circle and just do the same thing except a circle and not a rectangle or if you have a different paper, let's see if it's a Christmas paper, you can use a Christmas paper and instead the chick, you're using a Christmas tree. It is just so many options, it's literally endless. Now you understand why I love stamps. I think it came out nice. A few more little things and then we are all set. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for coming. We are going to have a fabulous time. Also, please remember, if you need any help, please come to see me. I know many of you never stamped before. I didn't want to spend time to show you how to stamp in this video. I would rather do this in person. Thank you again, and I can't wait to see you guys. Bye now.